Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro. I'm the past president of the North American Menopause Society, and I'm joined today by Dr. Stephen Goldstein. Welcome. Thank tell, you. Tell our women who you are who are listening to us today. Uh, I'm Dr. Steve Goldstein. I am a professor of obstetrics and gynecology at the New York University Grossman School of Medicine. I'm a past president of this North American Menopause Society and currently president of the International Menopause Society. So for women in and around the perimenopause, and they, they sort of begin to understand that there can be some menstrual irregularity leading up to menopause where there will no longer be menstrual cycles. Often they're plagued by irregular cycles and as women don't know, is this normal? Is this abnormal? Do I run to my doctor? What do I, you know, is this just a normal part of my hormones? So here's part of the problem. To my patients, all the blood that comes out of their vagina is their period. To me, a menses is preceded two weeks before by ovulation. So releasing think, an egg. Right. I think a lot of patients don't understand that you, if you don't ovulate, you can still bleed. And we call that anovulatory bleeding, and from the Greek, without. And so, so in other words, if you're bleeding without an ovulation, that theoretically should not be happening then. No, people often bleed without ovulation. If the estrogen levels fluctuate, it destabilizes right. the lining and people can bleed. And it can, the hallmark of the ovulatory cycles is their regularity, their cyclicity, their predictability. The hallmark of cycles without ovulation is all over the map. They can be right. early, they can be late, they can be but heavy, as, they can be late. as a light. woman who's, who's watching this, the ovulatory cycle is a normal monthly event. For women who are having likely bleeding without releasing an egg, how do they know whether well, or not that's, so, a, that's an okay thing to do? You cannot continue to ovulate 13 lunar months in a calendar year indefinitely. So when you stop ovulating, things become irregular. No one ever got a DNC or a hysterectomy for bleeding less. If you are skipping periods, that's the graceful way to be perimenopausal. But the same uh, physiology can lead to bleeding twice a month. And if that happens, you do need to be evaluated mm -hmm. because the problem is that, that pathologies like precancers or polyps or even the occasional cancer can have irregular bleeding that's too often. But if it spaces itself out, it's of much less concern. Right. I guess as, as women listening to this, you want to err on the side perhaps of, if you're concerned, don't ignore it. A good way to think of this is though perimenopause is the mirror image of adolescence. Just adolescence, is the exactly. <laughs> adolescence is the coming on to the, the reproductive life. Remember how irregular cycles can be then. Right. Perimenopause is the coming off of reproductive life, and you can have a lot of irregularity to cycles as well. But as I said, if they are coming too frequently, it mandates evaluation. If you are spacing them out, we're much, much less concerned. Okay, and I think that that's a really important for women to understand and as well to make sure they're doing their gynecological paps on a regular basis as, as indicated for them as women. Sure. But when in doubt, we'll hunt one, you out. One last point, though any bleeding in the true menopause, if you're a year yes. since no bleeding, any bleeding, even brown staining, must. you must, you must right. contact your doctor. Even third year medical students know that that's really important. So I think the message that we're giving to women is, is as you say, that leading up to the menopause, and you can't know you're in the menopause till so you've now gone one year without a period, that irregular bleeding, if it's too heavy, too frequent, get an opinion. And if you've gone a full year without a menstrual cycle, and then have any type of bleeding or spotting, get an opinion. Absolutely. Okay, we summed it up. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.